Today we're going to read The Water Princess, based on the childhood experience of Georgie Bedell, written by Susan Verde and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. It's called The Water Princess. Got this from my friend Amy at the library. I am Princess Gigi. My kingdom, the African sky so wide and close, I can almost touch the sharp edges of the stars. I can tame the wild dogs with my song. I can make the tall grass sway when I dance. I can make the wind play hide and seek, but I cannot make the water come closer. I cannot make the water run clearer, no matter what I command. It is early morning, still dark. My mother wakes me. Gigi, my princess, it's time to get up. We must collect the water. Water, come. Do not make me wake before even the sun is out of bed, I demand. Come, please, I say. But the water won't listen, and I know we will have to walk so far to the well. I am too sleepy to put on my crown. I think of the pot that will rest on my braids instead. The thirst comes quickly, dry lips, dry throat. I squeeze my eyes shut, I see it, clear. I dip my toes in it, cool. I scoop it up and bring it to my lips. Slowly, I open my eyes, nothing. I kick the dust. I grab my empty pot and place it upon my head. My mother does the same and our journey begins, full of song. My maman adds her melody. Our steps are light. We twirl and laugh together. The miles give us room to dance. Halfway there, we stop for a moment at the giant karate tree, long enough to grab a handful of sweet shea nuts for energy. We can keep the dance going just a little longer. Maman, are we there yet? Finally, I hear the water running from the well, the giggles of my friends, the chatter of women. Some have traveled further than I, only to return home when the sun has gone to bed. Maman holds our place while we play with friends. The dance continues, the water is flowing. Pots filling with the dusty earth colored liquid. Gigi, come, my tenant, my turn now. The dance home has slowed to careful steps. My thirst so heavy, like the full pot I carry. Our song is softer now. Our shoulders ache, our feet cramp. I see home at last. Maman boils enough water for drinking. We wait. We wash our clothes. We prepare food for cooking. My father comes quickly from the fields to share in the drink and the meal. He scoops me up. My princess, you have returned with the water. Drink, Maman says, finally. Every sip fills me with energy. I want to make it last, but I can't. I gulp it down. Oh, 
Clothes and body clean, I sing to the dogs. I dance with the tall grass. I hide from the wind. Maman brings one last cup she has saved just for me. Drink, my princess. Sleep, my princess. Tomorrow we journey again. Maman, I say as I close my eyes, why is the water so far? Why is the water not clear? Where is our water? Sleep, she says. Dream, she says. Someday you will find a way, my princess. Someday. I am Princess Gigi, my kingdom, the African sky, the dusty earth. And someday, the flowing, cool, crystal clear water. Someday. Imagine your life without water. No kitchen faucet to fill your glass when you are thirsty. No shower or bathtub to clean your body. Imagine if you couldn't go to school because you had to spend each day walking for miles just to get water and not even know if the water you reach will be clean. This is true for nearly 1 billion people around the world. That's one out of every six who doesn't have access to clean water. This crisis is what motivated African model Georgie Bedell to work to make a difference and get clean water to those in need. As a young girl in Burkina Faso, Georgie spent her summers living with her grandmother. Every morning, Georgie and the other girls and women of the village walked for miles to fill pots with water and return it home to be used for the basics, drinking, bathing, cooking, only to wake up the next morning and make the journey again. Georgie knows firsthand the suffering and struggle of all those without clean water. In Burkina Faso alone, nearly a quarter of the population has no access to clean water. Both illness from contaminated water and the time it takes to collect water every day prevents many children from going to school. The walk itself is on average four miles each day, which is the length of about 40, no, about 70 football fields. The Water Princess is a story inspired by Georgie's own childhood and our wish that the water would come to her and those in her community. Together with Ryan's Well, Georgie is working to make a change and bring this basic right, the source of life, to the people in Burkina Faso and beyond. We hope this story brings awareness to the ongoing crisis and inspires you to be part of the change. There's some pictures here. The girls and women of Georgie's grandmother's village in Burkina Faso take the long walk to collect water. They do not yet have a well in their village. It's this picture. The girls and women have arrived at the river where they fill their pots with water to bring back to the village. The water still needs to be clean before they can make it, before they're able to drink it. A little girl carries water home. She has found the joy and playfulness in the journey. She is a water princess. The children of La Oki Premiere de Rio and George, Georgie Bedell celebrate the first water princess well built in partnership with Ryan's Well. This picture. Georgie pumps clean water from the well at Lucina Primera de Rio which has about 578 students from six to 12 years old. And that's this picture. The children of Bacheliabia play in the water with, from a new well built by Georgie Bedell Foundation. And that's this picture. So this is the point where you can ask your adults to go to www.ryanswell ca to learn more. And that was the water princess. Bye.